Okay, we're here with our final break measurement for our form here, our PA State Inspection Documentation Area. is to document the measurements on the brakes, okay? We have two form fields left. We got the drum diameter, the ball joint. The ball joint is already posted as a video. Today we're going to deal with the drum diameter. That's the one white area below this green highlight here. Um, first things first, we have our brake drum. You'll hear it called a micrometer a lot, but it's basically a caliper. But either way, it's going to measure the brake drum, okay? And this is a digital one. Right here, this one's already been preset with pegs in it. They're two inch pegs per side, okay? So first thing we have the off button, the zero button, a drum button, an inch millimeter button, and a hold button. And we also have a thumb screw up here that we really don't need um, to mess with that much. Uh, just make sure it's loose when you do the measurement, okay? First things first, we're gonna hit the on. And then we're going to hit the drum to zero. You want to make sure these two ends are touching each other when we do that. Okay? So we press the drum. And you're going to see four inches come up. On the measurement. And that way we know we're ready. Again, like the other digital micrometer, digital caliper, we want to pull from right here. We also want to make sure this bar right here is free from dirt, debris, grease, oil, or anything. It will give you a faulty measurement, okay? Also, double check your measurement when you take it. If you know you're working with a six or seven inch drum and it's reading 14 inches, you have a problem. Probably want to clean this beam off and take another measurement. If you're still having issues, then you definitely want to um, take a hard look at your equipment there. Maybe you need some battery, maybe you need something else, okay? So right now, we're just going to take it. And the way I really like to do it is as soon as, it, right before I take the measurement, I hit the zero on it, and then I will take it open it up. As you can see, the top pegs rest on the edge of the drum, while the other pegs go down in the drum and do the measurement. Once you do that, I like to grab both arms of the tool and wiggle it back and forth a little bit to see if I can get a maximum diameter, okay? On this one, I got 8.8 909 8.910 so that's what we're looking for on this drum 8.910 and that's an inch eight inches okay so that's something we want to remember once we get that measurement I want to write it down just like that eight Nine one zero of an inch. Now we don't know if that passes or fails yet because we definitely want to look at the drum diameter, okay? I can tell you right now that that drum diameter uh, does meet passing. On this drum, you will see the maximum drum diameter in millimeters, okay? You're going to have that with a lot of rotors and drums. Uh, this one is 225.55 millimeters, right there, okay? So once you know that, that's fine. Make sure this is at where you said it was. So that would be 8.910. And you would want to hit the millimeters and it will convert it for you, okay? 
it will convert it for you to know whether that drum is still passes inspection or not. Uh, the nice part is you can hit it back, hit the button again, and it will go back to entry state. And that's how you would complete the last brake measurement section of the state inspection paper.